Welcome to a process video for Whisper. In this one, we're going to take a look at how we can handle some physical information requests where we might have either an electronic version of it or a kind of scan process where we'd be able to fulfill the request. And in this case, these requests are actually going to be coming through a SharePoint list that a user can come to to make that request. Now, in this video, we'll be focusing on the process of fulfilling the requests and not bringing the data in from and how the sync works, please refer to the uh, data mapping tool uh, documentation and videos. So let's take a look at our, our whisper, whisper here. And in, in here we have, uh, I just have a couple of pieces of information. It's not a kind of full repository, but basically the idea here is we're gonna have some boxes that have folders and they're on shelves. And on top of that, we're also gonna have uh, kind of scanned area within a shared drive that's going to house some of our electronic uh, content that we can relate to these uh, volumes that exist out, out in the physical world. So I've got a tab set up in Whisper here to fulfill, to look at all the requests that have come in. So here I've only got two requests and that kind of matches up with what we got on the website here. We've got this, these first and third ones somebody's requested. In this case, it's me, so we can see in our Whisper system here, we've got two volumes that are being requested, requested by me, a couple of primary, secondary pieces of information. But essentially, we can see that this volume uh, actually exists in a box here, and this box is out in a shelf somewhere. So if I wanted to physically fulfill this, this is where the, the actual piece of uh, content lives physically. But in relation to this volume, we actually have uh, an electronic version of it. This is just a text file I made on my shared drive. It exists out here on one of my electronic syncs that I have going on in the background. So this is just out on our NAS and I got some sample documents. And essentially what I did when I'm syncing to that location, I've actually found the text file, or in this case is a text file, that matches the volume name. And we actually link these together. And I'll show how that works for the next one. But let's actually fulfill this, this request. So I have a request here from, from me to get this piece of information. And of course, in, in these days, maybe I'm working from home. And as a records person, maybe I want to get this piece of content to them. So I'm going to actually send them the electronic copy of it rather than trying to get them the physical one. So this one already has an electronic version of it. So I'm going to just uh, expand here. We can see, I'll just pull up this one and we can see all of our volume information, you know, open close dates on that volume. Here's the electronic information of it. And what we've got now is actually a piece, uh, a new control here where we can actually uh, send this directly in an email. So here we've got an email that comes up and basically I can see that it was requested by me. So I'm just going to put my email in here and I'm just going to change this to say uh, request for and as requested. So this is going to send off the, phys or the electronic version of that physical piece of information that I've uh, requested. I'm going to send that to show up in my inbox. So let's take this one step further. How can we handle a request for pieces of information that might not have an electronic version of it already? So this would be a kind of on-demand scanning process. We won't look at the kind of batch imports and, and large scale scanning where we can bring in lots of these at a time. I'm going to do one here just to kind of show the base process and, and uh, kind of elaborate on how we can build off of that. So I'm going to go out to my scanner. I'm going to take this file. I expand here. I see it's in a box. It's on its shelf. I'm going to go take it off that shelf here and take the volume out of the box and go to my scanner and do this, this scan for this. I'm not going to leave my desk for here, but essentially here I'm going to basically end up with a PDF here that I'm going to put into a scans folder on my, my shared drive. So here this is just a sample NDA that I pulled out. So this is the scanned version of it. And I've taken that contract and I basically put it in my sample scans here on my network drive. And I, all I've done here is named it the exact same thing as the volume that it came from. This could be a multi-page PDF, whatever you need. But so what I'm going to do here is manually run this. And what we'll get here is that, that we see that we have that one volume or that one file that matches the volume name. I've got a rule. We won't go into the data engine rules, but I've made a rule for if you find the file name equal to a uh, volume name, link them together. So if I go back to my volume requests here, just like we saw before, we had a one underneath it here. We should have another file, the PDF version of that electronic one. 
And just like we did in the first one, what we can do here is we'll actually go to the, we'll go to the volume and I'll we'll expand it just so we can see all of the information. So here's the volume and here's the file associated with it. And what I, again, I'll do is I'll just to fulfill this request is I'll go here and I it was requested by me. So we'll send it to me. We'll send it to my Gmail this time, I guess. Request for and as requested. Uh, requested. And we'll send that off to me. And now basically what we've done here is we fulfilled this request. I'll click uh, off the request and we'll save that. And this one's done as well. Maybe I'll do this in a bulk update just so we can see if we wanted to bulk update all those at the same time here. I'll just bulk update my request to, to off here so all the requests are done. And if we refresh, our re request tab has now been completed. So this is a great way for us to, as kind of the records people handling the physical information, we've got a great inventory in Whisper. We've got a great place, whether it's a SharePoint site or other people are using Whisper, making requests. We've got our tab that's showing us everything that's requested. And now with the idea of, you know, creating a sync to the sync location, the scan location and linking those to our volumes and in the basic way of just on names, we can do with flat files and bulk situations. We use then our uh, new path control here where we can send this out as an email to fulfill those requests.